Monday morning, Clark Man off to school wearing his new Minecraft shirt from Walmart. That's pretty sick. There's a dog in the back of that truck. Gas, three dollars and fifteen cents. Last Monday. Last Tuesday. Last Wednesday. Maybe you're a free man. Yeah. You have a glorious day, sir. Love you. Love you. Bye bye. That leaves just Roxy and myself, and being that it's not pouring rain outside, we're going for a walk. Although it does kind of look like it's thinking about it. I switched Bear into her purple collar yesterday. Looking just so pretty. Before we take any steps, we're gonna get our outdoor walk going here. So I get full credit, because I want to get our two miles in. So we've been doing pretty much all of, geez, I don't know how long we've been doing it, but we did it all last week. I documented all that. And it's actually been paying off because I am down three pounds, 3.2 pounds in the last seven days. And I'm really excited about that. I've got some ways to go. I'd like to lose at least another seven pounds before we go to the beach, which is gonna be an aggressive goal considering we're going in, I think, 19 days. But I'm gonna to stick to what I'm doing, which I've been getting a little bad like over the weekend in terms of food and stuff, but I minimize my caloric intake outside of the really bad stuff that I had and it still seems to be making progress and working. So we'll keep doing that, keep doing this. I wanna play some VR stuff too today, I think, before I pick Clark Man up. Uh, in between that, I've got a bunch of video editing to do today and hopefully putting out some fire videos for you guys to watch outside of just me walking my dog and talking about my, my fitness. We just hit our mile and we're turning around and the rain is starting to spritz down on me. Let me see if I can show you guys on the water there. You can see it coming down a little bit. I guess that's our cue to pick up the pace, get that heart rate up, get those paws moving. Let's go. There you go. 19 minute mile. Crazy how perfect that is with where the bridge is, how we just kind of turn around on that. I don't think she's making this voice. Yeah, gotcha. That was an excellent walk and it didn't even really rain on us at all. I think Bear's done for. Just closed my exercise ring too. I love having this watch. I'm gonna end this. It really like gamifies this for me, which is what I need in my life. We gotta get Bear cooled down and go home and get some work done. Just finished editing the $2 Boat Memorial Day 2021 video. I am really proud of this video. I watched it through a couple times, really kind of cut it down, got it down to 13 minutes and 43 seconds of what I'm hoping to be some really great action for everyone out there to enjoy. Just don't uh, watch that spot right there. Scary. This has been Roxy since we came home. She's pretty much done for. <gasps> There's some life to her. No, sorry, I didn't mean to get you worked up. I just did a haul video on some Lego stuff that I bought, which actually turned into a disaster because I didn't have any audio in the beginning of the video. And I blame this camera every time I charge this microphone, which that's the charging thing right there. I have an issue with it turning on when I turn the camera on. And I did like a test probably about five different times. You'll see the green light come on. I tested like five times, it was all good. And then I did my video and it was just like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna record. So I'll show you what I got. I ended up getting this bonsai tree, which I absolutely love. These are some of my favorite Lego sets. Those of you that don't really follow Lego are probably looking at this and being like, wow, that's Lego? Yeah, it is. Lego isn't just this, which you saw last week if you were watching our vlogs. Lego can also be very beautiful and very collectible for adults, basically. 18 plus on these, so yeah, I'm excited to have these on display down here in the studio. You can see that my, my tastes are diverse with all the things that we collect, but I do love some great display pieces, including things that Clark Man puts on my shelf. And I uh, also was showing this set off, which I already had, but uh, I think it's beautiful as well. I just got that one. That one is already here. And I also got a Looney Tunes CMF, which Clark and I are going to open up tomorrow morning. Maybe we'll update you on that. But for now, I've got to go edit that video, which should be an easy thing, being that I just have to cut off the part where... I realized I had no audio. I was putting this gold coin over here that I just got, and I was like, let me check the camera. And lo and behold, I had no audio, and I was devastated, but I was able to recover from it and kind of go back in time to try to replicate everything, and I think people will be okay with it. All video edited and exporting. My computer sounds like a rocket ship about to take off, and I'm eating my first meal of the day, this glorious watermelon. Mmm, got something for you watermelon. I did get notification that I got a delivery. I'm curious to see if it's a thing I've been waiting 
four from DHL. Shake it. Oh yeah. This is my tank. Oh my gosh, it's 150 right now. I had no idea the day was moving that quickly, but I did spend a lot of time editing and that video is out right now. Maybe we can see how it's doing in the first couple minutes. Not really an indicator of the success of the video, but you can at least see if people are, uh, are digging it. This video is titled, Will Our $2 RC Boat Work? And it has 483 views currently. Hopefully it goes up a little bit higher like that one. That'll be great. I think it's a really great video though. If you haven't watched it yet, I encourage you to do so. Watermelon could be the best fruit. I'm actually eating this because I discovered we had this in there too. I made this last week. Oh my gosh, there's even some cantaloupe in there too. My cantaloupe last week was amazing, but I gotta eat all this because we have no space for all these melons that I'm buying. I made this yesterday. This one is really good. Let me show you the mix. You're about to be inspired. Boom. Got the strawberries in there. The grapes, mmm. The cantaloupe, all of this is so good. Mmm. I'm sorry for making you hungry right now if you're like watching this and you feel like you need to go out and get some fruit. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, so good. My stomach's making some crazy noises. I think it's like, wow, is this what it's like to eat? It sure is. I still have about an hour until I need to pick Clark Man up. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And that is, I'm going to take my Oculus Quest out into the garage where I'm going to play some games, specifically one that I'm about to download called Thrill of the Fight. Thrill of the Fight is a boxing simulator game that supposedly is an amazing workout. And I would love to integrate gaming with working out because I feel like when you're playing, you don't realize how much you're working. I was debating whether to actually film myself doing this. And I know when I look at this footage later, the answer is probably no, but this is kind of what the setup looks like. You have these two controllers, one of which should be in the hand that I'm holding my phone with. And I just drew a boundary around this entire area that I'm in. So I have pretty much this entire garage to move around and do the things that I need to do. And I feel like in a fighting game, like I'm about to play, that could be very valuable. So uh, I just wanted to update you on that. And um, yeah, I'll be going now. I'm officially a believer in Oculus Quest exercising. Just recorded the last little bit of that. It was only 12 minutes. Got my heart rate up to 158, and I burned 165 calories just boxing. That was a really fun experience, holy smokes. There was like the guy, you go in, first thing you do, you go in and you weigh in, which is just like a formality. Then you go over and you spar against somebody to kind of learn the basics, and then you just start jumping into fights against pretty easy people. And uh, it was just a lot of fun. Like you're, they're right there in front of you, you're punching them in the face, punch them in the stomach, doing jabs and uppercuts and power punches. It was so cool and it doesn't require like any knowledge to play. Like you just jump in and you just start punching. I will say one thing though, it definitely does some funny stuff to your hair. I think it might be time for a haircut, honestly. Look at that sweat though. That's not happening on Roxy's walks in the morning. That's for dang sure. And that was just from a couple matches. Imagine what it would happen if I did this for like 10 hours. I'm super hot. I know, it's terrible out here. It's 88 and the humidity is like insane. What was X day? What'd they do? It was a story day. No, extraordinary. Oh, extra, extraordinary. Okay. That's not easy to say. And she did um, pass out Clark and I were getting all hyped up that that Pepsi truck was coming to our house. It isn't. Dun, 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 we home. It was technically your last day of learning, wasn't it? Because tomorrow is the field day. And then Wednesday, you're just going in for a few hours. So. Oh my gosh. These are all supposed to stay home? Yes. You don't take any of this back? Yeah. You want to tell everyone what grade you will be in? First grade. What's that going to be like? I feel, I feel like it's going to be like, we're not going to do fun stuff. Yeah, it'll still be fun stuff. Probably not as much as kindergarten, but it'll and still that, be fun. And that's why I love, that's why Can I help you? That's why I love kindergarten. Because it's fun? Yeah. You remember how preschool was really fun? And know how kindergarten isn't quite as fun? Yeah. First grade will probably be not quite as fun as kindergarten. It's like they it's like leveling down the fun level. Yeah, leveling down the fun level. A little bit. Uh, yeah, well, we um, I read about something today where uh, in this book. You want to share it? Yeah. Yay. Let's take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Well, you only had a little bit of memories, huh? Because you went in late. But let's take a look here. So. Uh, Clark's class memory book. And that 
it's it's like what grade we just boot K for kindergarten. Okay. This year I learned a lot of new things. Some of the new things I learned were ABCs and math. Mm -hmm. My favorite was the ABCs. Mm -hmm. you know, that's more than math? I thought you loved math. But. I like it. I like the ABCs. We read a lot of books this year. Some of my favorite books were Panda Kindergarten and Pete the Cat. Yeah, I know Pete the Cat. I remember that guy. He's a sketchy character. Okay. <laughs> oh, Josie is someone from my school I'll always remember. I'll remember this person because they are a... Amazing. They are amazing. <laughs> amazing. I like that. Yeah. Did you cut this out too? Yeah, me, I cut that out myself. Our class shared many fun days together. One of my best days, one of the best days is when Aquarium Day. Yeah, that, we had our aquarium snack. That's um, the gummy worm jello we had, and the, that's a goldfish. Aww. That's a goldfish snack. And, yeah. and, and, and I was just going to put a question, a question bubble there and say, yum! <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I'm like, nope. I'm the thing I'm most proud of this school year is math. Mm -hmm. And 100 minus 900 mm -hmm. minus 1,000. No, no. N that's 100 dash. 900 dash. 1,000. One okay. That, that's what it looks like minuses. I see. I see. Yeah. And that's your memories of kindergarten. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of memories of you in kindergarten, Clark, man. Yeah. Most of the times we spend together. That was yeah. really fun. I love this one book. Me too, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, let's clean up this mess here. <laughs> not make it worse. Because you're probably not going to touch this stuff again ever. We're off on our next adventure. Which is dropping my car off and uh, getting some supplies for Cody's class party tomorrow. Say goodbye to the Subaru. Hey, I left some tracks of stuff in here. Coming here to get my students snacks. This wasn't even for us. But if you want to get anything more, you're welcome to. Mm -hmm. Trying to quit. Oh, I think I wow. might be a little far over. You got a good uh, two and a half feet over this side. I did get whiplash when you put the brakes on them. Oh my gosh. Don't be a big baby. You'll be hearing from my attorney, who's probably also your attorney. Is Clark awake? Yeah. Sure. Quiet back there, sir. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Just park it out there! Dang, that's like my old exterior. The old days. <laughs> 19 days to hit my goal. Oh. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't know about this cart. It's looking pretty unhealthy in here. For the kids. For the kids. <laughs> oh, also, Clark Man's shirt is 17 sizes too big, apparently. It was mislabeled, and this is for, like, kids that are 10 to 12. I want those bags that have the little bags inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could you go for those? That'd be uh, 56. Oh, my God. Just clearing house here. Why are you here. Free? Clark's like, I have, I have over 100 students. I wish my most, teachers did this for me. Most of them don't show up, though, so I might be bringing th some things home. Okay, make sure. yeah. I don't want anybody to go home. Save some of those uh, Save some white cheddars and also the, the Doritos. Right, they want sweets, too. Of course they I mean, do. Salty. It's a whole like, chunky party size. Are these soft, Hi. though? <laughs> Only if they're soft. She's getting Oreos. Not for clerks. The They're for high school students. Wait, wait. <laughs> he has to buy two of them. Oh my gosh. I might be going a little too crazy. You just want to keep these. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got them all these chips. After our beach trip. <laughs> yeah, oh, chips yeah. are yummy. I'm trying to cut some pounds here, Mrs. This is $100 worth of junk food here. I got Oh, you got it? Yeah. Thank you. I'm a good driver, don't worry. That's what everyone says before they crash. Sorry. You're right. <laughs> okay. Sounds murderous. Big Trump. Big mistake.
Surf and turf, baby. Surf and turf. Look, Mommy, the steaks are on fire. Oh, gosh. Quit licking my, my steak. I'm a novice griller, as evidenced by everything you've seen tonight. The singe is real. Still good, though. What do you got? You give me that ball. Oh, it's too hot for this, Dad. Don't throw it again, please.